Baby creams loaded with so many chemicals, then which is the safest and the best cream for babies? Let's find out. Hi everybody, welcome to Mom's Exclusive. Hope all of you are doing good. Today's video is the most requested one, best cream for babies, for which I have analyzed the ingredients of leading top 20 creams. The shocking fact is that many of the leading brands didn't pass the test. Now before we see that, in case you're new to the channel, we have loads of baby product testing videos, best baby soap, shampoo, powder and many more. Do subscribe and stay connected. Okay, let's see how many brands have passed the test. Now let's divide these 20 baby creams into 4 categories. First let's have a look into category 4 which is the worst of all and uh, all the products that fall under this category have perfume. As I have already told you in most of my videos, perfume or parfum or fragrance. These are the words that are to be definitely avoided because behind the making of this there could be hundreds of chemicals involved. Okay, let's see the creams that fall under category 4. Baby Dow, it's got perfume, disodium EDTA and phenoxyethanol. Perfume, I've already said, phenoxyethanol and disodium EDTA both fall under the neutral chemical category which means it is neither safe nor harsh. So Baby Dow is in category 4. Baby Hug, fragrance and sodium benzoid. Though sodium benzoid does not cause any harm, because of fragrance we are placing it in category 4. Chico Baby Cream, Propylene Glycol and Fragrance. Dabur Baby Cream, Disodium EDTA, Perfume and Phenoxyethanol. Johnson's Baby Cream, Phenoxyethanol, Disodium EDTA and Fragrance. That was really shell shocking. Before we see the next brand that comes under category 4, let's quickly see uh, which is better whether it's a baby lotion or the baby cream. Uh, it entirely depends on your uh, baby's skin. In case your uh, baby has got a normal skin, then I would suggest going in for a baby lotion because lotions are comparatively milder and they are not that very greasy so they get quickly absorbed into the skin whereas baby creams are little heavier and they tend to be greasy. So if your baby has got a very dry itchy skin then you can go for uh, baby creams. If it is a normal skin you can always opt for baby lotions. Okay, let's see the next brand that comes under category 4. Next comes a very very popular and trusted brand, Sebamed Baby Cream. It's very shocking to see its ingredients. It has got parfum, phenoxyethanol and propylene glycol. Mimi Baby Cream, it has got phenoxyethanol, PEGs that is propyethylene glycol as well as fragrance and category 4. Next comes Dermadu Baby Cream. It's got fragrance, phenoxyethanol as well as disodium EDTA. Next comes Pigeon Baby Cream. It's got propylene glycol, PEGs, propyethylene glycol, phenoxyethanol as well as fragrance. Atogla Baby Cream. It has got PEGs, mineral oils, propylene glycol, phenoxyethanol, fragrance as well as disodium EDTA. Next Littles Baby Cream. It has got PEGs in its ingredients along with disodium EDTA and perfume. Milo Baby Cream, category 4 because it has got fragrance in its ingredients. Category 4, the brands that fell were really uh, disheartening because we never expected such brands to come under category 4. Okay, now let's take a look into category 3. This is definitely better than category 4. And in this category, uh, these brands do not have perfume or parfum or uh, fragrance in its ingredients. But it will contain uh, one or more uh, neutral chemical. I am happy that it does not have fragrance, hence it is placed in category 3. Now in category 3, we have the brand Avino Baby Cream, again from a very very reputed brand, Johnson's. Recently only I came to know about it. So as far as Avino is concerned, the ingredients are very clean. It, is, uh, it does not contain any fragrance or perfume or any uh, harsh chemical. But the reason uh, for placing it in category 3 is that it did have the word mineral oil in its ingredients. So it is just because of that one reason I am placing it in category 3. Next comes a very very reputed one, Cetaphil Baby Cream. We have seen a lot of advertisements for it. So this cream is also very very clear in its ingredients. There are no harsh chemicals being used, no fragrance, nothing of that sort. Uh, again, the reason for placing this in category 3 is there is a neutral chemical which is phenoxyethanol present in its ingredients. As I stated earlier, phenoxyethanol uh, falls under the neutral category which means it is neither safe nor it is harsh. So because of this neutral chemical being present in its ingredients, I am placing cetaphil in category 3. Next comes Himalaya Baby Cream. 
So the ingredients uh, mostly comprises of uh, extracts being used. The uh, chemical that was found was phenoxyethanol, a neutral uh, chemical uh, that was there in Himalaya, along with sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate does not cause any harm, only if it interacts with vitamin C or ascorbic acid. It produces benzene, which is a carcinogen, cancer-causing agent. But sodium benzoate alone is harmless. But Himalaya has got phenoxyethanol in its ingredients. Hence, I am placing it in category 3. Now comes the uh, better, better, better category, the category 2. So this is comparatively better than the previous two categories that were discussed. So in category uh, 2, we have uh, the Momsco. Again, there are uh, many chemicals uh, listed in its ingredients, but all of them are safe chemicals that will not cause any harm. And I could not find any neutral or any harsh chemicals in its ingredients, as well as there was no uh, word fragrance or perfume or parfum found. Hence, I'm placing the Momsco in category 1. Next comes uh, the Mama Earth. Mama Earth again, the ingredients were very clear and it was all the safe chemicals being used. Hence, Mama Earth falls under category 2. So next in category 2 comes uh, R for Rabbit. The ingredients are very very clear. The uh, only issue I had was with sodium benzoate but again they have mentioned how it is uh, derived and all those things. It does contain perfume but it is an IFRA certified perfume. So it is entirely safe hence I have placed it in category 2. So now it's the category 1. So we analyzed the ingredients of 20 baby creams but unfortunately they were not able to come under category 1. So in category 1 we are going to place a cream that is entirely chemical free. So we can only go with natural homemade creams that can be placed in category 1. So I have already put a video on a homemade cream that can be very easily made under 5 minutes. So the video link is there in the description. Many of you had already tried the video and you have commented that the cream was really good. So in case you haven't seen it, please do check it out. Uh, in case you are not able to make any products like that, you can just go for the malai that is a milk cream. No, You can just apply that for your baby's skin. And as far as I am concerned for my uh, daughter's face particularly, I am only using this homemade baby cream and I do not use any other product for the face. The reason is uh, when you see the, uh, the backside of uh, the packaging of any uh, baby products as such, it would be mentioned uh, keep out of children's reach as well as avoid contact with eyes, nose and mouth. So it's a baby cream and we apply it on the face. Obviously child might tend to lick or it might go onto the lips. So there are chances of it getting inside. Again, it's a personal choice. You can either opt for uh, homemade creams or if you feel safe chemicals are fine. You can go with any of the products from uh, category 2 and category 3. So the best thing what you can do for your baby is to avoid using as many products as possible. The lesser you use for their skin, the healthier their skin is. Many people think that uh, you know, only when you use something they become shiny and glowing. But it's actually the opposite. When you don't use anything, their skin would be far far more healthy as well as better. So hope the video was informative and there are a lot more of interesting videos coming up. To the maximum, I will try to put the videos in English as well or at least the important videos I will try to put it since many of you are uh, and have been asking for it since long. I am planning to implement it in the, uh, in the coming videos. Thank you so much for your love and support. Do stay connected and keep supporting Moms Exclusive. Bye-bye.